This PDP-11 project is the PDP-1134. Inside the system is an M7265 and 66 CPU card, an M9301 boot card, alongside an M7859 interface for the keyboard, an M7762RL controller, the memory card, and an M7856 SLU and clock card. What you don't see is the grant cards that are in between the other cards. This system is installed in a deck rack with two RL01 drives and a deck power controller. As soon as the system is activated, the console displays a boot prompt. But because I don't have my RL drives working yet, I'll have to load a program manually from the keypad on the front of the machine. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the keypad and stop the machine. So I'm going to hit control and halt for a single step. And then I'm going to clear the display and I'm going to manually enter a program through the keypad to set up a loop where the machine will read the contents to register one and increment it by two and then send that to the display or the console. So first off, I'm going to load my starting address, which will be 1000 load address. What I want to do then is deposit the program into the memory. Every time I push the deposit key on the keypad, the memory will advance to the next location, so I do not need to keep entering the address. So I'm going to enter 5000 deposit. I want to go ahead and clear out my display, enter my next command. 12701 one. deposit. Clear the display, enter the next command. 177 five six four deposit that happens to be the address of the console clear that then my next command one zero five seven one one deposit clear the display and the next command one zero zero Three, seven, six. Deposit. Clear that. And the next one. One one zero zero six one. Deposit. Clear that. And the next command. Two. Deposit. Clear. Next command, 5200, deposit, clear that. Next command, 137, deposit, clear that. And the last command I'm going to enter is the one that sends it to loop back to line 6 of the program, which would be 1006, deposit. And I'll clear that. If I want to review the contents of what I just deposited into memory, I can go back and enter my starting address or any memory address. In this case, I'll enter my starting address, which was 1000 load address. And by using the exam key, I can see what's in that memory location. Every time I hit the exam key, it will automatically sequence it through to the next memory location. So 12701, 177564, 105711, 100376, 110061, increment the register by 2, 5200, jump 137, back to line 1006. If I hit exam again, it will just take me to the next memory locations that would be like 
1024-1026. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my display again. And I'm going to enter the address I want to start from, line 1000. Load that address. And then take control and start. And you'll see that the machine's running in a loop. Basically, all this program does is increment a register and display the results through the console. And since it's in a loop, it would simply sit there and print this forever. And if I want to stop the program, I hit control, single step, stop. When I stop the program, the display shows me the last address that the program stopped at, which is address 1006. If I wanted to, I could use the halt single step button and actually manually step the program through each address of the program. To restart the program, all I have to do is hit control and start again. Soon I'll get the RL drives up and running and be able to load an RT11 operating system and do a little bit more. That'll be the next video.